Yo, what's up guys, Sam here. Welcome back to another video. Today, Apple dropped iOS 14.5, which is by far the biggest update to iOS 14 since the update initially came out in September of last year. But rather than focusing on the big new features that you've probably already seen, like Mask ID, where you can unlock using Face ID and a mask for the first time ever, or app tracking transparency, new emoji, there's actually an insane amount of changes in this update that Apple was real quiet about, so I can't wait to show you guys those in today's video. So if you're excited, drop a like down below, hit subscribe, turn on that bell for more notifications so you always stay up to date on the latest Apple news. Before jumping into anything else though, I want to show you this wallpaper, which is actually built into iOS 14.5 now. So if you head over to settings, wallpaper, choose a new wallpaper, and live, you will get the new purple option to match the brand new purple iPhone 12 that was released. But there's some good news and some bad news. The good news is that if you have an iPhone 12 or 12 mini, you get this wallpaper built in for free. But if you have 12 Pro, 12 Pro Max, or any other iPhone, you will not find it in settings. That being said, over on my website, I have a download link for it. So if you want to get this on any iPhone, I'll leave a link down below. But it is technically hidden in the firmware. It's just not unlocked unless you have an iPhone 12. Inside of the Maps app, it's been supercharged with some ways like functions functionality where you can see incidents or speed traps on the highway, but Apple's kind of hidden it in here and it's under report an issue. So when you tap on that, it takes you to this page and you can see it's like the labels of the transit or you get this new section right here accident, hazard, and speed check. Tapping on any of these will allow you to show exactly where it happened by tapping on the map, moving it around, and saying again what it is. You can change views, which is really, really cool. This is gonna help other drivers see if there's been an issue on the highway and might suggest a different route for their commute. So it's crowdfunded and it's actually a brilliant idea. But Apple's made it even easier with Siri integration. You can just say, report an incident and Siri will actually take that data and give you the same prompt, but in a specialized Siri UI. So I might say that there's a speed check right here, and uh, oh, just like that, it just uh, just sent her in. So uh, sorry, these cars, but uh, you might, hopefully, there's no speed trap, you're fine. Siri though has been supercharged with some additional features as well. You can not only group FaceTime call like one of your messages chats, but you can also say, call my emergency contacts. Now, heads up with this one, you're gonna be real careful. Oh, it didn't stop listening. Can you, can you stop? Nope. Okay, we're just gonna redo the tape. Siri's also been supercharged with some other functionality as well. Like she can start a group FaceTime call using Siri from like one of your messages chats. And on top of that, you can call your emergency contacts. Call my emergency contacts. Now this is scary because it's counting down. Oh, it keeps going. Nope, nope, we're good. Okay, whoo! Siri got some brand new voice options in iOS 14.5 and they're actually super different. So obviously there's like tweaked versions of the existing stuff, which is... Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. You know, sounds a bit more natural. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. That's also like an updated version of the existing male one. But now there's new ones. Apple calls these more diverse, so here's voice two. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. And voice three. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. Which is actually dope that they've added these because like voice one and voice four definitely don't sound like most people and voice two and three don't sound like everyone as well. But Apple giving voice options. Like I'm not saying Morgan Freeman voice is happening. I'm just saying Apple introduced new voices so it's possible. All right, we gotta, we gotta keep the faith here. Next up, Apple has finally added support for everybody's favorite new controllers, the DualSense 5 for the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series S and X controllers. They're great, the compatibility has been really bad before, but let me show you how good it is now. So I'm gonna pair my PlayStation controller right now. You just hold down these two buttons, the PlayStation 1 and then the one up here on the left, and it should start to blink after a while. There we go, you can see it's in like the fine connectivity area. And look at that, DualSense wireless controller shows up pretty much immediately. Guys, it's already connected. It's literally that easy. Now I just gotta find one of my favorite games to play. Man, I mean, I'm just such a gamer. And just like that, you're playing Call of Duty. This is incredible. Uh, I actually forgot how good this was. You know, I'm, kinda, I'm like a little sidewinder right now because uh, I'm just sprinting around. But this is pretty, yeah, I mean, this is pretty insane. Oh, well. All right, that was a fun time. Uh, actually, you guys don't need to pair your controller because games are stupid. Following that, the battle between Spotify and Apple Music has obviously been going on for a long time. And just as I was about to switch to Spotify, finally, Apple actually supercharged the music app in 14.5 with some new features that, again, they just didn't tell anybody about. You now have the ability when you go into a playlist or you're looking to add songs to your library to swipe, okay? You can add it to your queue at the end of the queue or the beginning, or of course, to add it to your library just swipe like that. 
you can do this to all your music now. You don't have to actually tap on the three dots, tap add to library, and then go to this page. You just swipe an ad and it's here instantly, which is such a huge upgrade. I, I don't know why nobody's talking about it, but I'm telling you guys, you gotta try it. It's so good, the swiping. It's great, it's so good. Like you can even download just like that right now. But Apple didn't stop there. They also added a new lyric sharing feature, which is incredible. So obviously tap there to view live lyrics. Normally you just get to read through them, which is great. Like this is honestly the coolest part of Apple Music for me, but now we're so young boy. Yeah, we are dude tap and hold to share and you get this menu right here. You can literally tap all the lyrics that you want to share and post it to some place like Facebook or Instagram. On Instagram, for example, it shares all the lyrics that you selected and it's super customized. It, it's cool. I, I really like that you have the ability to share lyrics now and it allows social apps to be a little bit more fun. Next up, if you have an iPhone 12, Apple has tweaked some features regarding 5G here. So smart data mode they say is better and will more smartly, <laughs> no but it said it actually not drain your battery as much. Like, I don't know, lately I've been kind of on the fritz with like 5G just seeming to demolish my battery, but Apple says they've made some updates to improve the tuning here so that your battery is good even on 5G. They've also added dual SIM support for 5G finally. So up until this point, if you use two SIM cards in your iPhone, uh, neither got 5G. Like it just didn't work. It was really weird. So now at least one of them gets 5G if you're on 14.5. Following that inside of the Reminders app, you can now print out lists and also sort them. So if you want these to be sorted by due date, creation date, priority, or title, you can do do that obviously you know i've just got a lot of the same thing to do and i just want to print this so that i remember so many times i'm typing things on my phone but i want it out in the real world so with air print you just hit print real quick and like that you've got a real version of the list that's printed out and now i can <laughs> I mean, I can really get this stuff done. I'm gonna go right now. And finally, a lot of people forget that there is a Translate app now natively on your iPhone, I think as of iOS 13 or 14. To get to it, you just type in Translate and then you can translate things on device. And Apple's added a new feature where if you tap and hold the play button, hidden in here is a menu of playback speeds. Obviously, if you're trying to learn a new language or actually understand something, like just hitting the normal, Goodbye. like that's pretty quick. Like I speak English natively. Goodbye. But like, I don't know, if somebody was just saucing me, I, I mean, that's pretty quick. So now you can tap and hold and adjust the speed. So let's say I want to do it real slow, half time. Goodbye. And then you can also do the same thing with three quarters. Goodbye. This is really sad. I'm just like yelling goodbye at you guys. <laughs> you could say something else too, but I mean, hey, Alvader's in. And actually the last thing I wanna show you does relate to app tracking. If you ever wanna view what apps have even asked to track you, just head over to privacy and tracking. Oddly enough, for having some real sus apps on here, you know, some real sus apps on here, some real sus apps on here. I kid you not, I specifically put Facebook back on my phone to get the prompt today just to show you guys, and I did it. But if you wanted to check who's tracking you, it's general privacy and tracking. And here's where you can turn off by default, allow apps to request to track, so like it won't even ask because it just knows the answer is no. Or you can turn it on and specify, you know, per app, which are allowed to follow you around or, or which you're gonna share data with. So this is iOS 14.5, honestly, a massive update, considering that iOS 15 beta is coming out in just under two months. And let me know what your favorite hidden feature is down below in the comment section. All right, hope you guys are doing well. Drop a like if you enjoyed it, hit subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I've been Sam, hope you're doing well. And, uh, I don't know if you can hear the sirens, but I, uh, I have a feeling that the emergency call went through. So I am going to go and I'll see you guys later. Bye.